read a lot of Goosebump books to get ready for this movie? I did. I did. I did my research. Yeah. Como Daniel Day Lewis. <laughs> Muy serioso. And did you have a favorite? Uh, Night of the Living Dummy is probably my favorite. Yeah. It's my favorite character, Slappy. Slappy. Yeah. Did you read any of the um, Choose Your Own Ending books? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, those were big when I was a kid. Those were in the 80s. Goosebumps were in the 90s, so it was a little late for me. But yeah, Choose Your Own Adventure were my favorite. And how good were you at not dying? Oh, um, sometimes it didn't matter what you did, you would die. <laughs> I would read those books over and over the, again until I felt satisfied, though. You could read those books like so many times. That was the beauty. Yeah, like a million times. You had so many different ways. Yeah. yeah. Well, in your movie, um, like a lot of people believe that women are the ones who get scared the most. But in the movie, that's not actually true. And we don't actually believe that's true. But what do you believe? Uh, yeah, I don't think that's true at all. I'm always the, the scaredest person in any situation. It's pretty embarrassing, actually. Yeah. Are Whenever you there's actual day. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I'm more of a jumper. Good. Do you have a, do you remember the first scary movie that you ever saw? Yeah, the first movie I ever saw was called Murder by Death. It was in the 70s, maybe 76, 77. And uh, it was a, a murder mystery, and it was also a comedy. It had some amazing comedians, like Peter Sellers was in there, Peter Falk, all the best Peters. And it was so funny and scary at the same time. Uh, that's probably when I first really, you know, fell in love with, with scary movies and comedies at the same time. And this movie is like a combination of those two things, too. Yeah. And, and this is also a great movie for kids to see as their first scary movie. Yeah. Right? Did your kids like it? My boys love the movie. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I made the movie, too, because I knew they would love it. They love monsters. And, uh, you know, they love Halloween and they love drawing monsters and, like, watching monster movies. We watch old monster movies, like, you know, the black and white ones, because they're not scary anymore. Yeah, they're funny now. <laughs> yeah, now it's funny. Yeah. The Invisible Man, the very Invisible funny. The Invisible Man. Yeah. Do they have a favorite? Uh, Frankenstein, they love Frankenstein and uh, Creature from the Black Lagoon. All of those black and white ones. Classic. Yeah. Cool. Okay, now, so if you were to wake up tomorrow to find out that your worst nightmare had come true, what monster would we be fighting? <sighs> oh, my God. My worst nightmare. What would we be fighting? Oh, God. Um, probably Alien. Ooh. Did you ever see Alien? Yeah. Terrifying. It's because of the mouth. Yeah. And Inside the, the mouth. Yeah, the whole coming out of uh, okay. Yeah, and the blood is made of acid. Unstoppable. You're kind of a scary guy in the movie. Not really scary, but yeah. you know. Yeah, well, it starts off, it seems like I'm the villain, but it just turns out I'm just misunderstood. Very misunderstood. Yeah. But what advice would you give to kids after watching this movie? Like, what would be the lesson here? But I think the lesson, there's a lot of different lessons, but one of them is uh, don't hold on to... Uh, Resentment, you got to forgive and forget and don't don't make your life about revenge, you know That's mm. my character's lesson Not you know. listen to your parents. Oh, yeah <laughs> Kind of yeah, yeah, listen sort to of. your parents <laughs> okay. Now if you could write something knowing that it would come true, what would you write? <sighs> if I could write something that would come true, you know world peace what else can no, you really something write? Something funner, come on. Oh, funner? <laughs> yes. Well, you made you said that if I could write, I have to save the world <laughs> first before I have fun. Oh, yes, after saving the world and ending world hunger and all the bad things. I would probably would write about, like, building a house on top of a mountain and building a water slide that goes all the way down into a giant swimming pool. Cool. I've always thought that would be fun. Mm -hmm. Now, just... To wrap this up, what would you say to the Mexican kids? Why would they like to see this movie? Oh, porque tengo, tenemos muchos monstruos. Yeah. Uh, es muy uh, sustos, pero también es muy divertida. Awesome. Perfecto. Divertida. Perfecto. Great Spanish. Ni niños 
gustan esto muy mucho. Es mejor que Star Wars. Cool. Es verdad. Venga mi película. Escalofríos.